an abandoned Ferrari 412 just rots in the London Gateway. Probably the most underrated Ferrari of the entire lineup. One of the first cars of the Gran Turismo series. With a front engine layout and rear wheel drive, this poor fella is in one of the districts of London and it feels like the car was just left to fend for itself. Judging by the number, the car was produced in 1986 and the debut took place a year earlier. In 1989, the car was taken off the assembly line and in five years of production, slightly less than 600 cars were issued to customers, so it turns out that 150 cars were produced per year or about 12 vehicles per month. This example has a millage of about 10,000 miles, which is about 15,000 kilometers. It means that they practically did not drive a car and just threw it so easily, but judging by the millage, they drove up a miserable 15,000 kilometers in the last century. It's even interesting how often this car came for the maintenance, as you know, most brands have the usual oil change schedule every 10,000-15,000 km or once a year. I do not understand these capitalists, how you can throw out a rather rare and unusual car. After all, it was generally the first Ferrari on which they began to serially install the anti-lock braking system developed by Bosch. The main visual difference between the 412 and the 400 predecessor was that the bumpers were completely painted in body color and the mirrors had a more rectangular profile. The car weight has been greatly lightened by the using plastic. The interior has become more serious, but as you can see, the time has not yet come to the introduction of airbags. How long do you think this once majestic car has been on the street? It's a shame to look at this, realizing that very little time will pass and the hooligans or crooks will start to jerk the car and then there will be nothing to save. And this is what the V12 looks like, installed under the hood, with a capacity of 4.9 litres and 340 horsepower. You could choose which to order, 5-speed manual or 3-speed automatic. According to the foreman, it was still a pain in ass to maintain this car. The car accelerated to 100 km per hour in 6.7 seconds. Beautiful from any angle, wonderful optics, which unfortunately did not continue on modern cars.